we are going to move into a, a great segment of our broadcast today, and that is um, our world travel team talking about the innovation and technology that's taken place since COVID. The discussions will be led by the fabulous George Gadabush, our Vice President of Technology Sales here at World Travel. George, come on in. Thank you, Mike. Good to see Thank you, buddy. Good to see you. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Thank you very much, appreciate being here. So I know your golf game is doing well right now. How's your technology yeah. game? Technology game's way beyond the golf game. It's doing great. We've uh, got some great things to share here today and some great people to talk about. Let's turn it over to you. All right, looking forward to it. So want to uh, introduce our panelist, Rock Blanco, who is our chief, in, sorry, let me say this right, chief innovation officer. He's been with us for a couple of years. Uh, he has won numerous awards uh, in the industry and is also the the uh, founder of the well-known travel industry tools, uh, iBank and Prime Analytics. So welcome, Rock. Uh, we also have our chief information officer, I'm saying this right now, and that is Ivan Amana, who joined us fairly recently at the beginning of this fun, crazy year. And uh, he has also won a number of awards as the uh, CIO of the year. And he is bringing together our development, our infrastructure, and our overall technology team. So welcome, Ivan. Thank you. And also Julie Deppi, who is the vice president of, uh, of uh, vice president of technology, bringing together the innovation and planning forward with our our um, products, and is going to um, talk about some of the innovation that she's put forth. Go ahead and uh, let's let's give a quick introduction of yourselves there. Rock, go ahead um, and tell us a little bit more yeah. about yourself, please. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, my primary. Uh, focus as you uh, uh, so uh, nicely spoke about uh, uh, my life from the past perspective. I, I don't know if you stole that, George, from my mother, but uh, but I will say from an innovation standpoint, I mean, you know, my primary focus is to try to, to uh, make sense of all the great new technology that comes out both in and uh, outside of our industry and and fine tune that and tweak it and, and basically get it into the assembly line. So my colleagues here, uh, Ivan and Julie, and the three of us collectively can you know, do our best to produce the best products and services that we can for world travel clients. Awesome, Ivan, same to you, yeah, just, just a little quick intro. Ivan Imana, Chief Information Officer. As George mentioned, I've been here since March. Um, very excited to be here. But as Rock mentioned, you know, my role is to work together with my great colleagues here and to actually, you know, to bring world-class technology to the clients of World Travel and to make sure that, you know, we deliver pre, post, and during the travel experience. Excellent. And Julie, please. Hi, good afternoon. Julie Deppi, Vice President of Enterprise Technology. I ultimately oversee our product and travel technology teams working very closely with Ivan and Rock to ensure that we've got a best in class product offering. Excellent, well, thank you very much. Let me jump right into the questions. I know time is limited here. So Ivan, everyone is talking about digital transformation. Can you kind of give us an idea of what that really means? Yeah, I mean, digital transformation by standard definition is the digitization, I can say this, of the whole organization. What it means pragmatically for me is taking advantage of technology and bringing world-class service to, and make you know, and technology is a component of that. Excellent. Hey, thank you, Evan. Appreciate that. So, Rock, as the chief innovation officer, say I said it right that time. How do you define innovation? Well, the, you know, to start with, George, I thought the easy way would be to go out there and Google it, and then you know, I'd have some free time <laughs> today. But uh, you don't have uh, time. In, keep, it's be out in the keeping go. with the theme, um, you know, from my perspective, I, I somewhat always thought of innovation. Uh, the same way, you know, regardless of the situation. I mean, we all know what we're going through, um, you know, in the year 2020. But, you know, being innovative is all about um, a couple of things, you know, being instinctive, being focused, and in many cases, uh, lucky and or fortunate, you know, when it comes to trying to prioritize what's going to be the next great thing. Um, it's also about delivering the best products and services uh, that you know, from Ivan's perspective and mine and Julie's, I think that push the edge uh, to to a fair degree. And that often means that uh, we have to find creative ways to do what technology should do, at least from the standpoint of how I see it, uh, and that is solve problems. And, you know, generally people associate innovation with, 
you know, the new cool stuff that's immediately impactful, like uh, getting a new mobile phone or the latest and greatest, you know, smart TV. But I think it's also about talk, uh, taking what you're already doing and reimagining existing products and services to make them better. And, you know, and here's somewhat what I mean by that. If you look at the one big innovation that came about during the pandemic, uh, I think we'd all have to say it was probably Zoom. In fact, Zoom has become one of those cultural icons similar to Google where, you know, the product is actually an action. You know, I, I know many times we said, hey, George, you know, I'll Zoom you on Friday. So think about it. We've all been on web conferences before. We're on a web conference now. But reinventing an experience that's usually geared towards, um, you know, work to make it more accessible to the masses is really, in my opinion, innovation at its best. It's really thinking outside of the box. And another example would probably be look at how the food service industry innovated their process for delivery. I mean, ordering a pizza for delivery is really no big thing if you're Domino's, but think of how, you know, an entire process for consuming a basic staple item practically changed overnight. Uh, opening outdoor seating is in the streets doesn't seem very innovative or depending on the city you live in, very smart. Uh, but innovation is one of those things where it's all about reimagining and re-engineering your product or service sometimes just to survive. Hey, Rock, that's great. You actually anticipated my next question and covered that. So I don't need to ask you how the pandemic has changed the, uh, the landscape of innovation. So thanks so much on that. So let yep. me jump back to Ivan here. Ivan, let me ask you, one of the terms we use internally here is platform as a service. Now, not everyone in the audience knows what that is, probably, maybe I'm assuming too much, but can you tell us a bit about that and how we're applying that to the way we're pushing out our technology and making that accessible? Yeah, sure. So the strategy is to have a complete environment. You know, for us, it's focused on travel. You know, it's a combination of proprietary solutions and partner integrations. And really what's key about that as a platform is to control the quality and the experience of that service. And I think one of the things is a lot of people. Um, one of the key things about that is taking advantage quickly in an agile environment to deliver technology. Because I think, you know, on the panel's talk today, we talked about the hotel and mobile. We talked about new technology and the QR codes that are coming about is having a platform gives us the ability to deliver that complete experience and control it and adapt quickly. And I think the current environment is one of the most dynamic times we've all worked in. And so that is that becomes the base in delivering our technology. Excellent, I think that covers it well. Very difficult subject, but you summed it up nicely. So we also talk a lot about product strategy and how we're going to implement items and, and technology into that platform. So I'm going to put this one to Julie. Can you kind of touch on product strategy and what that means to us and to our clients? Absolutely. So when it comes to strategy, you know, quite honestly, the strategy and execution is what sets us apart from other TMCs. And from a technology perspective, that's all about foundation. And Ivan really covered it when he talked about that platform as a service being our foundation to be, live, to be able to deliver those products. The biggest thing that we try to do is we try to strive for a balance because you need to have a digital journey that can provide a delightful customer experience, but you also need agency touch points because especially in this COVID world, there's some scenarios that there just is no substitution for any type of meaningful human interaction. It's still needed. Excellent. No, I appreciate that. That's good. So still sticking with you, Julie, there's a lot of discussion and articles around strategies and, and forward looking technology in our industry. So how do you and your team plan on keeping up on that, keeping ahead of the competition as we go forward? Well, all of us, I, I think I speak, you know, for Rock, Ivan and myself, none of us actually come to work to be mediocre. OK. Um, you know, we, we truly strive to have a best in class product offering. Our goal is to pave the way for what others follow. Okay, so we look at innovation and enhancements, not only from the travel industry itself, but outside of our industry to determine, you know, what would be a differentiator for us. But more importantly, as many times when you see those features released, we have something similar, whether or not that be in a product offering or a feature of a product, 
And that truly allows us to take a look at our, our product offering and ensure that all of our clients understand our value proposition around that. Very well said, thank you, Julie. So last question here, and I think I'll ask all of you just for a quick summary on this. What do you see going forward, 2021? What is that going to mean for not just the industry, but primarily for the technology and what we plan to do with that? What do you see? Let's start with Ivan. Well, you know, in my opinion, I think you're going to see further integration into femtech related into travel and expense. And really kind of what we're focused on in, in a similar strategy is removing the friction of integration and having that be, uh, you know, as we talked about today, whether it's a touchless journey, contactless journey, but having that ability to move that information all the way across that experience. And travel is kind of at the forefront of that because, you know, we're involved in every one of those touch points. So I really see that be moving at a very fast rate. And a key example of that would be like the mobile wallet, the ability to pay for hotel dining, you know, in a touchless, contactless type experience. It will probably be continued to be expanded upon that further. Excellent. Hey, thank you, Evan. So, Rock, same question to you. Yeah, um, well, uh, thankfully for you, George, I consulted with the ghost at Nostradamus and uh, we uh, we derived that there are two main trends that we're uh, focused on. But honestly, uh, I think the first one is artificial intelligence, AI. I mean, I know we've all been exposed to that and and heard much about it and uh, and probably come in contact and use it quite frequently. But I think that will become an even more valuable tool going forward because, you know, with all of the volumes of data that we are collecting around healthcare, travel policies, immunization, infection rates. I mean, there's so much information out there that um, we're going to need some assistance, um, you know, to be able to continue getting back to travel planning and risk management, uh, you know, policies um, to, to be as, as best informed as we possibly can. And the second one is augmented reality or AR. And that one is is one that was really starting to emerge as a useful tool for businesses, you know, prior to the COVID uh, era. But again, I, I just, uh, I, I think travel can be transformed in a way that travelers, you know, will, will be able to uh, observe their surroundings around where and how they travel and, you know, basically be in, in a way that, um, you know, uh, they, they can better experience literally as if uh, they had that preview um, opportunity to evaluate, you know, transportation options, hotel walkthroughs, even down to the actual room. What's the safest, uh, you know, routes for them to take between airport gates, including if they need to stop for food or other services, local transportation. I mean, so many things that we're going to be able to do uh, in a more of a 3D type experience without having to put on those funny looking space goggles. So that's Good. my prediction for next year. Spoken like a true chief innovation officer. So Lassie, just a quick, concise answer on the same question, Julie, if you would. Um, I think truly just a renewed focus on the voice of our customer. As we've all talked about, this is an uncertain time and it's more important for us than to, you know, to understand what it is that they need from us. Excellent response. Thank you all panelists, really appreciate it. Great job. Thank you very much, George, for coming into the studios right. today and uh, we'll see you on the golf course. Sounds good. Thank you.